Hi, and welcome to ABC Vascular Ultrasound Case Study Endovascular Repair of Abdominal Aortic Aneurysm Complications Type 2 Endolic. This is a case of a 60 year old male patient that underwent an elective endovascular repair for a 5.5 cm abdominal aortic aneurysm. Despite a reduced sac size reported at annual ultrasound follow up scan, there was a 4 mm sac size increase compared to the annual scan at 18 months follow-up. The first step to perform when examining an endovascular repair for abdominal aortic aneurysm is to perform a B-mode overview of the endovascular repair. First of all, we need to optimize the image, therefore optimize all the B-mode parameters, and then we can move the transducer across the abdominal aortic aneurysm to identify visually the largest aortic diameter. Once we have identified the largest abdominal aortic diameter, we can freeze the image and we can therefore measure the outer-to-outer outer maximum anteroposterior diameter, which in this case measures 5.4 cm. In this case, we can measure also the medial lateral diameter as the walls are clear. There is therefore a 4 mm sac size increase compared to the annual follow-up ultrasound. We then apply color Doppler flow and we perform an overview of the endovascular repair to identify any flow filling within the thrombosed residual AAA sac. We can spot here evidence of color flow and we can see that this flow enters from a blood vessel which is outside of the residual thrombosed abdominal aortic aneurysm. We can see that this flow is pulsatile, we therefore zoom over the region of interest. We reduce the scale to get a better definition of the color flow filling. And we can see that there is definitely an entry point at the level of the lateral wall of the abdominal aortic aneurysm. This is therefore considered to be a type 2 endolic, considering the level of entrance of the flow within the aneurysmal sac. We can see that there is turbulence and this is indicative of high jet flow. We can measure the peak systolic velocity at the level of the entry point by applying pulse wave Doppler, which in the presence of a type 2 gives the typical waveform of a to and fro flow pattern. And when we measure the peak systolic velocity of this endolic, we get a maximum value of 300 cm per second. The cutoff value to define an endolic of high velocity is 100 cm per second. In conclusion, we have identified a type 2 high jet velocity endolic. Thanks for watching ABC Vascular Ultrasound.